All right. The only person's opinion that I really care about, about last week's video, is that one right there. All the other opinions don't matter to me really at all. Big, huh? Oh, she, oh, I think she got some. You might have some follicles up in this, up in this girl. Have some babies. That'd be cool. Aloha, top of the morning, friends and family. I'm here today with another uncut video for you. And in today's uncut video, I was originally planning to do a fun video where I was going to read the comments from this uh, news article that came out recently across my feed of a alligator that had been living in somebody's backyard for 20 years. And then DNR came and repossessed it. And the comments I thought were, were going to be quite hilarious. But instead of doing that, I figured we'd do this video here where I address some of the fallout and blowback from last week's uncut video with Brian, with the thumbnail and the situation and the call to prayer, all, all that stuff. I'd talk about that. I figured I'd do that today instead. Um, I'm not going to play any music today because I'm, I'm a little under the weather. So my voice, which is already just barely good enough to sing songs, is n no condition to do so today. So I'm just hanging out with my little truth snake here and uh, we're going we're gonna to talk about it. There's a few things that surprised me and a couple things that didn't surprise me whatsoever. Uh, I was happy about the surprises, not so happy about the unsurprises, but it is what it is, you know? So I, when I made that video, I think a number of people didn't catch the fact that I mentioned that I had just gotten off the phone with Brian talking to him and, and that told him I was going to make a video. Um, and that's okay. You know, sometimes people don't watch the whole video, but the whole purpose of that video was to call people to prayer for Brian. That was the number one motivation behind making it. So, there's quite a few people that had an issue with the thumbnail. And to be honest, I have a bit of the issue with the thumbnail myself. Not super happy about making a thumbnail exactly like that. But after however many years I've been doing YouTube now, I know that that's the kind of thumbnail that will get attention and get people to click on it. Any, anybody who's making a YouTube thumbnail is making it with the intention of it being something that people will click on. And... Otherwise, there's no point in making a thumbnail. You must have a black screen and a title, um, or no title. Just you know. The, anyway, I, I'm not happy that human nature is the way it is. Where it, that's the type of technique that works, but it is. And so, what I try to do with my thumbnails is reel people in with the idea of negative, but then blast them with positive. I've heard several of my YouTube friends that do really well with their channels talk about that technique, and it, and it works. It works really well. Uh, especially when when you're counteracting the negative with the positive. You got people coming in looking for that. In fact, um, there's one comment. I'm not going to read a bunch of the comments, but I will read at least a couple. Um, one of the ones I saved here in my phone was a comment on that video, and it said as follows. Snake, don't escape. I'm trying to find the video comment. I clicked on this video with the intention of trash talking, how could you use Brian's name for clicks and views? But after watching, it's not the case. Thank you for trying to reach out to more people to show what's going on with Brian. Prayers to Brian. And that's kind of like, that sums up like the intention behind it, right? Is, is use that like potential negativity to bring people in and then like, no, we're, we're here to spread love and kindness as much as possible. Um, though comments that didn't surprise me, unfortunately, were the folks that we're just blasting having a relationship with God and folks that, that having a relationship with, with God is stupid. And I quote retarded. Um, it, it's just, it, it doesn't surprise me though. You know what the, the, all of the hateful and mean comments were coming from folks who seem to care not to have a relationship with God. And that's not surprising. It's not surprising at all. And fortunately for my spirit. I'm not out here to try and make people happy any longer. That's I left that I left that back in the past. Now I just want to make God happy and spread love as much as possible um, with that. So, you know, it's this, this unfortunate those comments exist. I I I have prayers. I do pray for those folks that that are lost and that are stuck in um, some kind of place where they feel like 
where, where they lead to that that thing where they just want to take a video that was meant to inspire love and hope and just like and just be nasty in the comment section it's just i i I feel my heart hurts for those types of folks it really does i i pray for those folks that they find um peace in their heart because or peace through god honestly that's what i pray for is that they that one day god brings a peace to their heart because i can only imagine what kind of life you're living if if that's what you resort to it's just and i've always felt that way actually but now now i instead of feeling angry at those people i feel genuinely um my heart hurts for my heart hurts for them it does because that's it sounds like you're coming from a real dark place and it's unfortunate um as far as the surprises i was blown away at how many people came into the comment section who were fellow believers the the sheer volume of folks was staggering and I'm very grateful that that is the case. Uh, it far outweighed the negativity that was thrown out there hugely. And also, I, I do want to mention this, and hopefully some of you haven't clicked off already to hear this part and we get more na- nasty comments. But while I did know that my clickbait and title was clickbaity and, and title... Sorry, I'm having trouble speaking right now. Uh I know that was the case. I know this what I was doing. Um, but and because of that, I intentionally played a song that I knew would get me copyright banned. Not banned, but basically I made nothing from that video. And I knew that that was going to be the case as long as I played that song well enough, which I did. So therefore, YouTube said, sorry, you're not making anything out of this video. And I was like, thanks, YouTube. I knew that. Um, so that was my intention. I was like, okay, if I'm going to do it like this and it's going to be a call to prayer, I want to make sure I make nothing off the video because that would be disingenuous about what my true intentions are behind trying to get as many people to watch this video as possible. So just know that that happened too. And I explained this on a, on a couple of Facebook posts people were making, you know, tagging me like about what a piece of crap I was for doing it. Um, so that's that. I think I've said about all I've really wanted to say about it and Maybe next week we'll do the alligator video where I reply to the comments there because I thought that was going to be really fun and funny. But continue prayers out there for all you folks watching as well as for Brian. And um, happy to connect with more of you as we have. And this weekend's video, I have no idea what's happening. So you're just going to have to go ahead and have to watch what happens. But anyway, Cusco out. Cusco out.